We're here at the World Telecommunication Development Conference 2014 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Ms. Lobdus Midda, who is an administrator of the Presidential Palace in Tunisia, has worked closely with people with disabilities, and has taken part in many international forums on various sectors, including ICT, showing how it can assist people with disabilities. Lobna, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you for the invitation. I'd like to start off by asking you, how do you think that ICTs can help people with disabilities in the workplace and in everyday life? Yes, actually, this is the focal point at the, uh, I mean, um, was um, speaking about yesterday. Uh, ICT, when you speak about information, communication, technology, those three uh, focal uh, the concepts are orchestrated around a, a very uh, important issue, which is life, humane life. And this is what I wanted to say to the ICT uh, advisors as well as delegates uh, and all who are the inventors, the, uh, the president of Apple, Macintosh, etc., that you have people with disabilities who are a layer of the society. We have our own abilities. We have people with special, let's say, abilities. So uh, actually, the innovation and the standardization and what we see in the ICT and the new technologies can help us to be more integrated and uh, uh, more efficient I mean, in our uh, societies. For example, when I went to the uh, United States uh, last few months, I saw how at the mayor's office they were using the technology in order to make deaf people as well as visually impaired persons uh, to uh, collaborate and, make, and uh, work together. And you know, a person with disability wants to be himself, to show to the others that I can do it. I can do my work. I'm like you. And this is what we want. It's an inducement or enhancement to the other world. It's a message. I mean, pave the way for me. And you see what I can do. Give me my right and I will do, give you uh, my insight. So this is what I want to say to the other person. Having a special screen with uh, uh, a person, a deaf person, who is collecting the, uh, what we call the calls, and uh, interacting with people with the sign language, which is very, very marvelous. Uh, speaking to a person who is the vice councillor at the mayor's office and who is visually impaired, uh, magnifying the screen seven times and having so many bright ideas, which is very efficient. So why do we lose those special, I repeat, abilities? This is not Lobna who is speaking here. This is so broad of many bright stars behind me. Maybe they are the voiceless or the unvoiced persons. We have so many people with many abilities. Just give them the chance. I said to the ICT officers, uh, I told them just Look at that, it's not, we are living in a society which is consumerist society. We are just looking at the profit, uh, I mean, uh, financial profit. But we have to give the ICT its humane clock that, she, uh, that it has lost uh, within, the, the, uh, market, within the market and the economic background. And this is what they want to be uh, done, yeah. Now, you obviously have a very specialized view of accessibility. Do you think that NGOs, governments, and the private sector should do more to make it easier for people with disabilities to access broadband technology, for example? 
Yes, uh, they, uh, if they collaborate together, if they touch it, because the private uh, sector by itself can do anything. The uh, public sector also can do anything. But if we shake hands together, let hands be shaken. Why not? And let's be, let, let it be a competition within, I mean, our own communities. This is what we want. Even the organizations or the, what you call the social, uh, I mean, um, uh, committees, we have to look at each other as if we are, I mean, uh, completing each other. We are not enemies. We are not, uh, I mean, uh, uh, competitors only. Competitors in a beneficial way. So we have to collaborate. We have to join uh, the, uh, w the needs of uh, what is uh, in um, the society. We have to, 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 to put the feet upon the ground to tread, not like angels, but like a human being. This is what, what they need. Now, you, we were talking before, and you said that you recently presented a project about disability and tourism. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah. I uh, spoke about it uh, in front of the U.S. Uh, Department uh, in Washington with the officers of cultural affairs. And it's about uh, tourism and disability. As, you, as I can give you some virtual percentages, if uh, tourism can bring one billion uh, uh, tourists, during the 2012, the European Union said we, uh, our, our, billion, our one billionth uh, tourist has come. But I said one plus one equals minus two. Why? Because the numbers of workers at the airport, for example, 49. The workers at the hotel, uh, 30. The workers uh, for the, uh, uh, I mean, uh, means of transportation, let's say 60. If people with disabilities find the, the um, I mean, the, the, the um, accommodation or the uh, um, accessibility to, to get on the plane, to get on the taxis, and to travel with their families, it's multiplied. Look, mom is my companion. I need a companion. Imagine some other person, they have their families. So the workers will rise. Numbers of uh, officers will, uh, in all domains, in taxis, airports, uh, hotels, uh, we have, we have our share in the wheel of economy, in the wheel of development in the wheel of the society, all are, I mean, raised. And the hub is the government. If the government, or the government in general, believe in us, believe me, we can do that, something which is incredible. And um, I always say, nothing uh, about us without us. We need a pilot project. And this is my uh, intervention here. Uh, in my intervention, I suggested a pilot project being presented by people with disabilities themselves, especially uh, who are interested, because we cannot be uh, lean on the others. We have to be active, not passive. And we need you, even, I mean, I quote what you call normal people, or I call myself able people, physically able people. We have uh, to be integrated and included within the society without excluding the others, without ignoring our own parents, our own uh, directors, our own governors. So we have to claim our rights as well as to be thankful 
to those who back us. This is what they want to say. And I, my motto, or, or what they say always, be smile, my strongest weapon. We have always to be ambitious. We have always to be, I mean, to look at life as if we are, no, actually we are living one time, who wants? So we have to leave a bright print in this world. And this can be effective through the ICT, I think, since we are living in a, a world which is like a village, we are using the smartphones, the internet, uh, all means of uh, technology. We can uh, even do forums. Uh, I can visit some places uh, that uh, I've never been able to, to go um, uh, through the internet. So I hope that all the delegates, all the uh, persons who are leading the uh, big companies like Apple, Macintosh, and uh, Samsung, etc., to think about that because the cost of the uh, uh, computers and uh, things that are related with people with disabilities uh, are higher in price due to the consumers, there are not many people who are using this, but we need uh, them. Well, Lord Nesmita, thank you very much for being here. I hope that uh, it'll prove worthwhile, thank and uh, we very much appreciate your presence here in the studio today. Thank you, thank you. And I wish um, that uh, Lubna will be not the uh, only one. I wish to see uh, in the future time, more people with disabilities being here and participating and having their share in what is, uh, I mean, um, done uh, in this world. And thank you. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you very much for watching.